coming and to help us celebrate and recognize our hometown veterans that are here with us today. We are Bruce Tuff and Nelda Blair, and we will be your MCs this afternoon. Before we get started on today's program, we'd like to take a few moments to talk about the significance of Veterans Day. Veterans Day is an official United States holiday which honors our fellow men and women who have served in the armed service, also known as our precious veterans. It is a federal holiday that is observed on November 11th. It coincides with other holidays such as Armistice Day and Remembrance Day which are celebrated in other parts of the world and also mark the anniversary of the end of World War I. Today we are reminded of the brave men and women who have selfishly given their lives for our country. This day, the tribute and celebration has been an important part of our country's history when cities and towns across the country would organize a remembrance of days for those who return home after their service to our country. Veterans Day gives Americans the opportunity to celebrate the bravery and sacrifice of all United States veterans. However, most Americans confuse this holiday with Memorial Day. What's more, some Americans don't know why we commemorate our veterans on November 11th. And it's imperative that all of the Americans know the history of Veterans Day so we can honor all of our former service members properly. Veterans Day, formerly known as Armistice Day, was originally set as a U.S. legal holiday to honor the end of World War I, which officially took place on November 11, 1918. In legislation that was passed in 1938, November 11th was dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be hereafter celebrated and known as Armistice Day. As such, this new legal holiday honored World War I veterans. In 1954, after having been through both World War II and the Korean War, the 83rd United States Congress, at the urging of the Veterans Service Organizations, amended the Act of 1938 by striking out the word armistice and inserting the word veterans. With the approval of this legislation on June 1st, 1954, November 11th became a day to honor American veterans of all wars. Finally, on September 20th, 1975, President Gerald R. Ford signed a law which returned the annual observance of Veterans Day to its original date of November 11th, beginning in 1978. Since then, the Veterans Day holiday has been observed on November 11th. And what better way to honor our veterans than to get involved with some of our local veterans organizations. So while you're here today, please take the time to visit the booths right over here, which include the Greater Woodlands Public Art Foundation, we'll talk about a little more, Team Red, White, and Blue, Texas Centennials Foundation, and Operation Holidays for Heroes. We also have a refreshment booth provided by HEB, some great cookies, I've cooked all night, <laughs> and a care package drop, which which we will be shipping all the packages to the troops overseas, over here as well. And today we will hear a performance by the Golden Air Senior Adult Choir of the Woodlands United Methodist Church, as well as a brief presentation on the Way Home sculpture by the Greater Woodlands Public Art Foundation, which I mentioned. But first, we'll begin with the presentation of colors as you see all around you by the Patriot Guard. Thank you so much for being here today. Yes, let's give them a round of applause. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Bruce, would you do the honors? Please join me as we honor our country's flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And next, we'd like to have a moment of silence to honor all of the far, fallen heroes who have paid the ultimate sacrifice to protect our freedom. Bruce, would you like to recognize our local officials? Thank you. 
Thank you. And just look at this magnificent site behind you. We have the American flag. It's being recognized by our Woodlands Fire Department. Curling high above the town Green Park in this celebration. At this time, I want to uh, also recognize the Township Board of Directors. I'm going to recognize all of those directors, and I believe most of them are here. So Peggy Hausman, Director Ed Robb, Gordy Bunch, right back here to my right, Mike Bass, right here, Nelda Blair, Jeff Long, and our newly directed, elected director, John McMullen. So thank you directors for attending, and thank you for your service. We'd also like to recognize Barbara Cargill, Chairman of the Texas State Board of Education, and uh, also who's here today, Congressman Kevin Brady, State Representative Steve Toth, and State Representative Brandon Creighton, Commissioner Precinct 3, James Nowak, Commissioner Precinct 2, Craig Doyle, and Justice of the Peace, Edie Conley. And please help me uh, recognize the service of the, our elected officials. Thank you. As Bruce said, we're so pleased to have uh, U.S. Congressman Kevin Brady with us here today. He represents the 8th District of Texas and is currently in his ninth term as a public servant. Today, he will lead us in prayer. Please welcome to the stage, Congressman Kevin Brady. Nell, thank you. If um, I want to thank you and Bruce for your leadership to put this wonderful event together. I want to thank all the volunteers who did so as well uh, to make this such an important event for our community. I appreciate uh, all of our elected officials being here and taking time for your day and especially those on the program today, Commissioner Nowak and State Representative Toe, thank you for taking time to be here today. Uh, I would like to, um, to lead a prayer that reminds us about those who have served us uh, and what it means when they come home. The example they send to all of us. Um, heroes like Sergeant Virgil LaRue, who recently passed away from Huntsville, recently passed away at age 98. A member of the great generation, greatest generation, Sergeant LaRue was a World War II prisoner of war for four years and a survivor of the Bataan Death March. He was born just up the road in Crockett. He trained in Camp El Paso, which now is uh, Fort Bliss, as we know it. I was trained in, to fire anti-aircraft grounds, but he was serving in the Philippines with the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. He fought in oppressive heat and under conditions where he caught both beriberi and dysentery, and later he said those were the good days of his service. Forced to surrender in the Jap to the Japanese, Sergeant LaRue and more than 70,000 Americans and Filipino prisoners of war were captured and forced to march 60 miles in 12 days to the Philippine jungles. They were starved, they were beaten, thousands died, some merely because they stopped along the road to help a comrade who had collapsed. Sergeant LaRue survived the march. He was marched to a rail line stacked inside a rail car put inside the ship of a Chinese um, cargo ship, sent to China where he served as slave labor for the rest of the war. You think about Sergeant LaRue and you, and you can't help but be awestruck and, and think what a special man he was. But Sergeant LaRue was like every veteran I know because when you asked him about his life upon his return, he would tell you very quickly he, quote, wasn't a hero or nothing. Wasn't a hero or nothing. That's why I know of every veteran I know. They don't consider themselves to be a hero, but they are. They don't consider themselves to be special, but they are. And the truth of the matter is, things in Washington are just a mess. What we're doing here today to honor our veterans, this is what's good about America. This is what's right Amen. about America. Yeah. This, this is the 1% who have sacrificed, who have left their loved ones, who have spent years away, uh, gone through all sorts of, uh, of work and dedication and tireless effort to keep us free. And so 
Today is our day to honor them, so bow with me. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing such heroes among us. Thank you for the loved ones who've supported them through their trials and through their time and their service. Thank you for making them a model to all of us for through their work and their dedication inspiring a new generation of American heroes willing to stand where duty requires them to stand. Thank you, Lord, for these men and women. Thank you for their service. Thank you, Lord, for this remarkable country you have given us, the freedoms that they have secured for you, for me. Thank you, Lord, for blessing our veterans and for blessing the United States of America. We pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ, in your name, amen. God bless. Thank you so much, Congressman Brady, for being here today and for all that you do for us in Washington and at home. Next, please help me welcome to the stage State Representative Steve Toth, who represents uh, the Woodlands area, for a few words. Representative Toth. Thank you. As Bruce shared a little, a little earlier, it was the 11th hour and the 11th day of the 11th month that my grandfather Henry came home, or I should say he put his rifle down, for the end of World War I. And when he came home, it wasn't a joyous event because he had left his brother Edward there in Europe, who had died just one week before the end of the war. And we honor you because not only of what you've done, but because of what you've lost in loved ones and family that, that did not come back. And it's our hope and prayer that God will continue to bless you and find solace in the service to this great nation. We love you, and we bless you. Thank you so much, Representative Toth. And help me also welcome today our Montgomery County Commissioner, Precinct 3, James Nowak. I'd like to give him a little bit of credit, actually a lot of credit. It was in leaving a meeting at his, at his office on a completely different subject that at the last minute he said, you know, Next month is Veterans Day, and I'd really like to see the township do something for the veterans. It's because of him that we're here today, and we're going to make this an annual tradition, Commissioner Nowak. Thank you, Bruce Nelda, Congressman Brady, and Representative Toth. And thank each and every one of you veterans and your family members for being here today. On behalf of Montgomery County, I'd like to thank you for your service to our country. Because of you and those who served before you, we have the freedom to gather here today. And as Congressman Brady said, this is what makes America great. My son McCoy honored his grandfathers today at a Veterans Day celebration at his school. He was proud to have one of his grandparents on stage with him, and he made certain to tell me that he wished my dad, who passed away five years ago and was a veteran in the Air Force, wished he could have been there too. Those of you who have served understand that service comes with a price, and I want to make certain that I personally honor you and humbly thank you for your service today. Ronald Reagan once said, and I'm going to paraphrase to make it fit the entire group, some people live an entire lifetime and wonder if they've made a difference. As a veteran, you don't have that problem. Thank you very much again for your service and all that you do. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you, Commissioner Nowak. Thank you, Commissioner Nowak and all our community leaders for being here today. We really value your service uh, to uh, public service. And at this time, we're now going to get on the point of business why we're all here. We're going to acknowledge our veterans who have fought to protect our freedom. And we'd like to recognize you all by branch. So when I call your branch, would you please stand and have your family stand with you as we can recognize you and thank you for your service. First, United States Air Force. I recognize Colson Tuff, World War II veteran. Thank you, Colson, for being here. Thank you for your service. United States Army. 
Those of that you are already standing, wave your hand so we can recognize you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. United States Coast Guard. Thank you. Gordy Bunch. There you go. Thank you. United States Marine Corps. United States Navy. Tony. Thank you. Okay, one more round. Let's give all these honorable servicemen and women and their families a round of applause. We are forever in your debt for your service. Thank you very much. Now we'd like to recognize our local hometown veterans, and that's what makes this kind of unique, this Veterans Day ceremony, who have returned home here to the Woodlands and the surrounding communities after their time of service. Isaac Sharif, a resident of Alden Bridge, joined the United States Navy in January of this year and remains active today. Isaac also served a tour in Afghanistan this year. Welcome back home, Isaac. Let's give him a round of applause. Isaac? Isaac, come on up, please. Come on up. We're making this unique and to recognize those veterans who return home or local in our community. And thank you for your service, Isaac. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. There. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you very much. Rick Menard, a resident of Grogan's Mill, joined the U.S. Marine Corps in 2009 and remained active until 2012. Rick also served our country on a tour in Afghanistan. Are you here, Rick Menard? Welcome home. We're so grateful for your service. We're presenting our, our veterans with a, basically what we call a goodie bag at the Convention and Visitors Bureau of all kinds of fun stuff just to, to commemorate our gratefulness. Bill Thatfield, a resident of Spring, retired from the U.S. Army in 2013 after 24 years of service. That's right. His most recent tour was three years in Germany. Let's welcome him to the stage. We appreciate you, Bill Thatfield. And our fourth, Kentisha Aidi, a resident of Grogan's Mill, who joined the U.S. Army in 2010 and remained active until three days ago. That's right. She also served in Afghanistan. Welcome home, Kentisha. Where are you? Come to the stage. Come on up. Welcome home. We're so glad to have you here. Thank you again. On behalf of the Woodlands Township, we would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your service and the sacrifices you made, you've made to serve our country. 